Chairman, and welcome to the O2 Arena here in London. This is the official and final press conference for the big contest coming up Saturday night, broadcast live on Sky Sports Box Office to the world. It'll be brought to you by Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing and Haymaker Ring Star Promotions. And starting Saturday night, London, on through April, will be the heavyweight capital of the entire world. It all starts with 12 rounds of heavyweight action right here at the O2. And here to tell you more about it, that starts things off with the head of boxing for Sky Sports, Mr. Adam Smith. Thank you, Michael. We always know when there's a big event with Mr. Buffer in town. The waiting nearly over. A fight that has uh, totally captured the imagination of the wider sporting public because these two personalities have blended the ingredients into a nice spicy mix of entertaining build-up and a real fascination about what happens come Saturday night. I would ask you to please watch your language, boys, today. We are uh, going out on Sky Sports News and all over the world as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get things started. Let's bring, first of all, in the, uh, the man who's made this happen, Eddie Hearn, from Matchroom. Thank you, Adam. Expecting a slightly more quiet press conference today. You never know. It was a good fun in Liverpool on Monday. It's been a great fight week, thanks to all the fans that came out on Monday and, of course, at the O2 last night, the Indigo, for the media workouts. Um, our usual thanks, of course, to Sky Sports Box Office, um, the number one sports platform in the world, I believe. The build-up to this week has been fantastic. Uh, well done to Ed Robinson and Ross and James Tynan and the whole team at Sky for their work on the... The build-up shows, of course, the gloves are off and behind the ropes. All great viewing. Uh, previous fights aired all week, and uh, we can't wait for Saturday night. It's a fight that's got everyone's attention. Everyone's talking about it. And for once, we don't have to do much talking. Thanks, of course, to our sponsors, JD Sport, BetSafe, uh, to Haymaker Ringstar as well for a smooth promotion, and a fight really that has captured the imagination of the entire British public. We can't wait for a huge undercard at the O2 Arena, and, of course, the big one, Hay versus Bellew, live and exclusive on Sky Sports box office on Saturday night. Thanks, Eddie. Straight over to uh, Team Haymaker and uh, Adam Morley to say a few words. A slightly quieter crowd today. Yeah, thanks, Adam. Um, look, it's been a, a hell of a build-up, and you know, congratulations to Tony Bellew. I think he's a, a skilled politician who, throughout the, the last week and the build-up to this, has stayed clearly on message. He's portrayed himself as humble, motivated, hardworking, and he said David's arrogant, lazy, a diva, and he's portrayed it very well as good versus evil, humble versus arrogant, but that's just not the case. It's not true. And there were some sinister undertones about roid rage, which weren't nice, but it's not true. David is focused, he's motivated, he's hungry, He's struggled as much as anyone else. He's come back from two shoulder surgeries and no one is as motivated as him right now. Yes, David said some things uh, in the past week or two that weren't politically correct. He's not politically correct, but he is in full beast mode at the moment and he's not thinking about what is the politically correct right thing to say. He's just talking about what is on his mind. And on Saturday night, I think you're going to see... Haymaker 2.0, you're going to see what it's all about. And I agree with Tony, we shouldn't be talking about other fights right now. We should be talking about this fight. And after Saturday night, we'll be talking about other fights. Thank you, Adam. Uh, excellent trainers behind both uh, David Hay and Tony Bellew. Um, a man who's uh, brought the McDonnell twins real success, who's been with uh, Tony Bellew quite a long time now. They've got a really special bond. Let's bring Dave Colwell in for his thoughts, of course, formerly uh, over the other side of the fence too. So it'd be interesting to see what Dave thinks. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good build-up to a great fight. Um, I was just a bit amused by Adam, to be honest, what he was saying. Um, you've known the man two minutes. So... Um, Tony hasn't portrayed him to be anything. He has been what he is, you know. We're going to talk about the boxing. He's a great fighter, um, fast, sharp, but he does have the personality. 
So you can't deny his personality is what he is. And, and a little bit came out the other day. But it is what he is. Tony's not had to portray him to be anything. Um, you look at, at this fight and... The majority of people seem to think that this is a, a one-man band, that's it. David A is going to walk out and smash him. There's no surprises to what we've seen so far. It's all been the same as what it's been in the past. I expected him to look ripped, to look light. I said from the beginning, he wasn't going to be big and around 16 stone. I expect him to be lean, built for speed. I expect his mentality to be like the Macronelli fight, where he thinks he's, you know, he's... he's kind of irritated that people actually think that Tony Bellew can win. He was irritated that people thought that Macronelli could win. And he expects to go out there and put on, a, put on a show and be devastating. But this isn't the Macronelli fight. This isn't the David A of, of, of those days. And, and like I've said before, human beings age. Human beings think they can do things that they can't as time goes by. And... We haven't prepared for him to be an old David A. We've prepared for him to be the best David A can be. To be sharp, to be lean, to be strong. But I don't believe that when it comes and you're banking on a, a, a couple of rounds, a quick blowout, I don't believe that mentally is in the right place to, to take punches back. To I yeah, don't think he's got the reactions, the reflexes. To, to avoid the shots that are coming back. Bellew's not just going to stand there and let him unload and, and, and wipe him out in a couple of rounds. Don't forget, he's going to be punching back. And the David A that we see now and that we've seen, little bits of the past, little bits of technical things, is not the same man that Adam Booth had. When, it, when, when Adam Booth was his coach, he knew him inside out, he knew how to get into his mind. People back behind the scenes like Elliot that was there for him on, on when he's on day of the fight, when he's got the doubts, perceives to be a very, very confident man, but he's a human being and he has doubts. So he's going to have doubts for this fight. He's going to be worrying about, there's been talks about injuries. Whether there's injuries or not, the fact is, it's the fact he has had an injury and he has had to look after himself to bring, come, his, come back from this injury. And he doesn't know how it's going to react. When this fight gets dirty and it starts getting sweaty and, and punches are bouncing off each other and slipping on shoulders. He doesn't know how things are going to react. He doesn't know how it's going to be. But the bottom line is the, the, the aggressiveness and the bitterness that, that's come out is because he's not... You have doubts when you start feeling the pressure. They're talking about putting the pressure on us. Um, but we're relaxed. We, we know what we've got in front of us. He doesn't know what he's got. He doesn't know what he can do. And he's not been involved in a big event like this for a long time. Those two fellas that he fought before, it, it was a one-sided thing. He's not been involved. And when he's, there's 20,000 people in there and the atmosphere of the fight night, the people that were around him that used to help him and, and rein him and keep him focused, they're not around now. This is going to be a great fight. And it's a fight that like Mike Tyson against Danny Williams. Might be bumpy for a couple of rounds. Nobody expected Danny Williams to take what, what Tyson had for a couple of rounds. But then once the going got tough, if you're not in this game for the right reasons, and if you're not in it because you love to fight, if it becomes a fight, you're not happy. And when you start getting battered, and you start getting punches back, things don't go your own way. When you end up on the floor and you're looking up, feeling sorry for yourself. The motivation of money doesn't come into it. Every fighter will tell you that. Because you're going to get paid whether you win or lose. Tony Bellew is not in this for money. He's in this because he's a fighter. There's only one fighter that sat at this table, and that's Tony Bellew. Thanks, Dave. Let's move on down to uh, a man that's uh, always got a flourishing stable, hasn't he? With the likes of Carl Frampton and George Groves and... Josh Taylor, we really like the look of, um, and fairly recently um, has brought David Hay into his life. Shane McGuigan, Shane. Thanks, Adam. Um, that was a speech, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because it's not about me. It's about it's about the fighters. Um, you know, David Hay is. Look at the shape he's in the other day. You know, what I mean, he's he's in phenomenal shape. He's light. He's fast. Um, 
he knows his body. He knows how to go through training camps and not get injured and not overcook it, you know, and and make sure he gets in the fight razor sharp, ready. And you know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm, you know, you know, going to re-establish him. You know, David Hay is a phenom phenomenal fighter. He's an elite fighter. He's a guy that is one of the best British fighters ever to to live. So. You know, you got a guy like Tony Bellew, who was one of 14 world champions in Britain, you know, last year. Um, taking up and away from him, he's a phenomenal fighter, but, you know, he won a vacant belt. You got a guy that unified the, the cruiserweight division and stepped up and has beat genuine heavyweights. And, yeah, albeit a little bit, uh, you know, a, a while ago. And, you know, he hasn't showed on recent performances that... You know what he's capable of, but on Saturday night you're going to see that, and you're going to see the difference between a world champion and an elite fighter. Because there's many, many belts going around these days, and there's many world champions, and people are getting that title. But you only get a handful of elite fighters to grace this country, and David Hay is one of them. And enjoy Saturday night. Thanks, Shane. Well, he's a world champion, a world cruiserweight champion after that uh, wonderful win for him at Goodison Park and the defense against BJ Flores. Then we all know what happened. He gets the fight that he's always wanted against David Hay. Tony Bellew, massive night for you on Saturday. Yeah, it's, it's here now and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't really have that much to say. It's just, it's been a long, hard camp. I've enjoyed it. And you know, we're near, it's nearly time to rock and roll. It's there's not much talking left to be done. Let's just see what, what happens Saturday night. And the main thing is no excuses. No excuses. Because they've been put out there to the media. There's reasons why you guys have heard about injuries and stuff like that. No excuses whatsoever. We all get sore. We all get knocks and bumps. This is the combat. Brutal business. It's called boxing. And the camps are hard and the camps are long. Just no excuses. I don't want to hear any of them at all. That's all? Sorry, Are I just you? like to say thank you to Adam. I've, I've been called many, many things. I think it's Adam. Your name's Adam. Yeah, it's Adam. Uh, I'm, I've been called many things over the years. But a politician, my friend, it is not one. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I don't pretend to be nothing. I'm probably the most realest person you'll ever lay eyes on in your life. What you see is what you get. Uh, I don't know what I've said to you that makes you believe that's not true, but believe you me, everything that I say is true. It's just a fact. It is the way it is. I've never made anything up about David, yourself, anyone else in your team. Uh, I'm a straight shooter. That's what you, the, the likes of me are called, a straight shooter. I'm not the guy who's surrounded by, uh, by scumbags and idiots. You know, I'll leave that to you, guy. You know, I'm not the guy who's surrounded by cricket match fixers. I'm surrounded by genuine businessmen. So, it is what it is. That was just for you, that as well, Adam. So, to the former cruiserweight champion of the world, the former heavyweight champion of the world. I know you believe this is the new David Hay at 36. We saw you last night looking in terrific shape. Um, ready to go? Want it on now? Yeah, you know, it's been a long time coming, you know, since my my injury, since the rehabilitation, you know, all the doubts, all of the people who, who didn't think I'd I'd be back to the to my former glory. Um you know, I've I've stayed clean, I've stayed focused, I've uh, looked after myself probably better now than I have done at any other stage of my career. As you said, I'm thirty six years of age now. You know, in the past I could get away with Three, three or four hours a night, three or four hours of sleep a night, and still bang out two hard sessions. Can't do that anymore. I need a good nine, ten hours sleep if I'm going to push two hard, hard sessions out. So I know that I'm aware of my body now. I'm aware of what works, what doesn't work, and 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 uh, and I have a solid team around me that assist me in getting me to peak condition. And I've got this fight right. And unfortunately for Tony Belly, he's uh, he's in the ring with. You know, he said something last time we were face to face that you know, he wouldn't beat the old David Hay, but unfortunately the new David Hay is better than the old one. And people probably think I'm just saying it for the sake of saying it, 
and it's all about proving it. So Saturday night, Saturday night, you're going to see a real destruction job. Knocking him down for 10 seconds isn't uh, isn't exciting for me. That does nothing for me. You know, he's he's got under my skin. He's chased me for a year and a half. He's, you know, really, you know, got made things personal. So if he wants to do that, I'll make sure he never, ever, ever does that again. And how do you do that? I'm legally allowed to do as much damage to him as I can inflict in 36 minutes. Ten ounce gloves on. He think if he if he believes he can stop what I'm bringing, he's in for a world, a long, long world of hurt. And I hope he does keep getting up. He keeps saying he's, he'll keep getting up because he's got a big heart. I hope that's the case because this is going to be. I promise you, I will. I promise you. It's been great. Then that's, I'm hoping for that. If you don't get up and make sure your little rat coach doesn't throw the towel in to try I and promise, save you for another I day. I promise you, I will. It's going to be no other day. It's going to be another. There's not going to be another I day. I promise you. Yeah, this is I the last day for you. Um, this is it. Enjoy your last couple of days. Okay, mate. no problem. Enjoy your last couple of days. You enjoy. That's it. It's over. I'm sure it is. Just don't quit. Just don't quit. Yeah, you'll make sure your boy doesn't throw in the towel. So I'm saying. Oh, I'm throwing no towels here, mate. Good. We don't wave no white flags where I'm from, see, okay, boy. Okay, we just we'll fight. See. We'll see. What we we'll do. See. As long as there's no excuses, it's just going to go in destructive fine. mode. I'm in that vibe. Yeah, I'm in that nice place. You look beautiful, to be honest. Your place. hair looks great. You look beautiful. I, I feel beautiful. I you look absolutely fantastic. I feel fresh. My skin's clear. My, yeah, my the vitamin D is done. flowing through your body. Flowing I've heard it all before, me. David. And you'll feel it. You look fantastic. I'll be honest today. You look good. You look light, light, but you look good, mate. Very you look good. terrible. Thank you. Yeah, great. And you're going to look even worse nice. when you're unconscious on the floor. I feel okay, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. You're not going to feel okay Saturday? Trust me, I am. I've, I've, I've heard these threats many times. I've heard David. you threaten people as well in the past. You forget. Yeah. I've been yeah. here and done this many times, David. Not against a big heavyweight many like times. me, mate. Not against, I'm against sorry a to inform you, like my me. friend, but you're not a big heavyweight. A big heavyweight is Anthony Joshua. You are not a big heavyweight. You will show that on the scales tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. You are not a big heavyweight. I'm just letting you know. You're a big cruiserweight. Okay, okay. If you're a big heavyweight, then we will see tomorrow. We will see tomorrow. Can't sure. wait. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. Like I say, you've turned up today. You look smart for once, which is nice to see. And your hair looks fantastic. Beautiful. You know, it's been... Uh, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I, I enjoy the threats. I really, really... They're not threats. It's just what's going to happen. It's just... Okay. Power punching, clean, crisp shots, smash it up. So if that's what's going to happen, yeah. I should start calling you David Houdini, hey. Yeah. The hey fake. Houdini, you can tell me whatever Houdini, you want. Houdini, yeah. Fantastic. I love it. It's Can't wait. Don't that actually, yeah. Uh, predict the future. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, you just done it, mate. You're the one who said it's happening. Yeah. So we'll see. Houdini disappeared like you were on the night, mate. Nah, mate. Yeah. You me, you're I ain't the one doing the Houdini, mate. I ain't going forever. nowhere. I'm quite happy where I'm at. <laughs> you are now, not on Saturday. I'm going to be even happier. That ring. You will see me. You can't walk. run off anywhere down there. You will see there. me walk to that ring with a smile on my face, and you will see me leave with the glory. While you if go, go into the glory, darkness, then yeah. go back to the yeah, maybe will. There's a lot of people uh, you are going to claim after the darkness. tragic things happen. I just glory, can't they, wait. They leave to glory. I can't yeah. wait to hear the excuses come from you. I really cannot because I don't want to hear. I did. I underestimated them. I was on a yacht. I was doing this. I was doing. I don't want to hear any excuses. You won't be able to hear anything, mate. Trust me. You can't hear when you're asleep. Trust me, son. You he can't. You won't Trust hear anything. You won't see, hear, or sleep. anything. Hopefully, you'll going. regain it at some stage, but you ain't hearing it right after the fight. I am not going to sleep. <laughs> and let me tell you that's now, at that best, at best, you're going fact. to sleep. At now, best, that is a you've got to pray you're going no, to sleep. Nobody's the put me asleep in my whole life. Way worse. Nobody's put me asleep in my whole life. And nobody's ever made me quit. Knocked out. Many people have never been knocked out before. So sure you have. Yeah. Stopped on my feet once and once only. Very similar to I you. Me and you the last time out. you got stopped on your feet, you quit. I didn't quit. I got genuinely stopped on my feet. You quit. Remember that feeling. Remember that feeling? Mm. You've just said you're going to leave me on the floor. So we're going to start stopped on my feet or on the floor. Will you make your mind up, boy? For God's sake, make your mind up. You're a walking contradiction, boy. <sighs> This is going to feel so good. Oh. Just keep closing your eyes and pretending you're somewhere else, David. You could pretend you're back in Miami. Or on that yacht, once again, that's not yours. You live in a fairy tale world.
This is fun, isn't it? Fantastic. I love, it. I love every minute of it. Oh, so how many hours have we got to this fight? How long is it? Two days? Is it Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Oh, lovely. No more hearing this guy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great place. So you're gonna make sure you make sure you all tune in. Skybox office. Yeah. Saturday night, you're gonna get a great, great, great night. Great, solid undercard, lots of entertaining competitive fights. You're gonna see the end of Hayfaker 2 and the beginning of Hayfaker point three. That's what you're going to see on Saturday night. It's like the bleeding diehard movies over here. <laughs> He's bleeding John McClane, this clown. Haymaker point two, you think this guy's a point movie two. franchise? Jesus Christ. Hay, Hayfaker point two. I've never heard nothing like it in my life. We're just fighters, David. We're just boxers. No, no, not I'm, the, two, I'm, the, I'm the fighter. I'm the fighter. You're just a guy who happens to do boxing. Yes. You're the guy who happens to do That's boxing. That's not what that green yeah. belt says in the house, my for friend. A vacant, for a vacant title against Me? a guy who was five foot seven. Really? Five foot really? seven? Not five really, no. Seven. But at the end of the day, mate, it's a WBC yeah, World yeah, Championship yeah, against the great. number one world ranked yeah, fighter. You'll, I you'll, beat. And you'll go down as one of the great he was, British he wasn't just yeah. He wasn't just anybody. Well, I, I absolutely slapped your playboy friend all over the place for the first defence. Was he terrible too? Is he Punched terrible? him clean in the balls, mate. What's your point? I've made sure I've got a really solid was it, cut what, as well, just was in it, case you try those tactics. With was me. it was it the low blow that dropped him four times as well? Listen, when you hit someone in the balls, then you can go and... David, was it, it the low blow that dropped him on the floor four times? I don't know. You do know, David. I, the know. Left I, know. I, I saw a floor. clean shot to the balls, then I yeah. saw you throwing loads of punches, and he hits the deck. Yeah, so you probably so hit him in the balls first. So, punches after the low blow, yes. But, yes, correct. But the low blow... And an elbow as well. Chucked an elbow as well. So, I, li I like you. I like, I've, I'm prepared for your okay. rough tactics, your low blows, elbows. We've, we've, we know what you bring to but the table. But, David, just, you're missing one thing. Go for it. The low blow didn't score four knockdowns, mate. Yeah, it helps. If I kick you it in the balls for a fight, then start off, punching it, it, it's going to help the punching. It, does, it really. doesn't, David. It is. It, a low blow does not score four knockdowns. I didn't David. say it scored the four knockdowns. Your friend I said got, got slapped punched. around and he bitched like well, your Well, I'll pop, get like revenge for my friend then. Will you? About that. I'll, get, I'll get his revenge. The only revenge you'll like, You won't go down four times. The only you'll revenge go down you one can time. get for him is if you pay for a dance in a strip club where you two guys are together because that's the only friends that use our mates, nightclub buddies. That's where you belong. You're just going back to the nightclub scene. That's where you belong. I might go out I might, I might go tonight, in actual fact. It I'm wouldn't. Like you've done I'm it like before. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy myself. You've yeah, done it before, David. It's some you, good music. You've gone, you've good gone out before some of the biggest fights in your life the night before. Yeah, and I've every single time I've done it, I've won. Yeah, you have, yeah. yeah so well done. It might be a good luck challenge. You want a medal? Yeah. No, I don't want a medal. I'm just saying. It's how it is. Different people who live cares, their life in they? different ways. We do live our life in different ways. I know what. I know what's I important to me. I know what's happening. That's it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place. You know to what's be. happening. Like I say, Houdini strikes again. Is it Houdini? Is it John McLean? I don't know. Is it Houdini, point two, point three? Houdini, Jesus Houdini, Christ! Houdini is a so magician. Houdini's a magician. A magician? Yeah. 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 Is that thing upside down in water and died? So. Uh, Time will tell. Time's ticking. Yeah. Dave, days. David, are you totally injury free? 100%? Yes. yes, as much as any other fighter is for the gathering. I'm oh, feeling healthy, I feel fast. Uh, but there's no punches restricted, there's no movement restricted. I can throw whatever combination I want. There's no problems, I'm fine. I feel very good. I'm, I feel as good as I've ever felt. Before most of my other fights, there have been there have been issues of some kind. Some of them have been affected the fight. Some of them didn't. Just I'm sure Tony's probably had issues. Everyone, every fight is a high impact sport. You're sparring hard rounds. You're getting punched. You get you get niggles. You get knocked. You get bumps. But you work around them. You get your physio. You fix it, and you you, you crack on. And as I sit here today, I'm I've done the trough, and I've coming out, and I'm coming up to my peak on Saturday, and I'm ready to go. So there's no there's no, no issues, thank God. I'm very look, happy. A little toe happy. okay? Toe's perfect. Brilliant. Toe's perfect. Brilliant. I had it checked twice. And it's, uh, That's fantastic. And it's, and it's great. Do you feel refreshed, rejuvenated, having had the, the shoulder up and, and, and now you feel this is your at time? The time? At the time, I didn't feel rejuvenated. At the time, it felt terrible. It was horrible. It was, you know, I'm not sure if any of you had the shoulder operation, but you know, sort of stuck my arm in, out like this for six months. And um, 
I couldn't, I could hardly do any any other type of injury. So it's quite a, quite a low time in my life. But you know, time wow. heals, time heals all wounds, and with the with the right mentality and the right uh, strength and conditioning program, rehabilitation program, you can. It's amazing that how the human body can uh, fix itself. And I feel, I feel as good as I've I've ever felt. And I'm I'm just fortunate that I've got such a big stage to showcase. You know, the new version of myself. I really am happy. And you say it's the new version, the version that you believe will beat any other heavyweight in the world, not no, just Tony? Yeah, for sure. You know, but as I said before, I haven't trained to fight Tony. You know, I've trained to fight someone a lot bigger, a lot stronger, faster, who puts more pressure on me. And um, that's, that's how I've trained. That's how I've trained, and it's felt, it's felt good. It's, it's been tough. It's been tough, and it's been hard. But I've made sure I've balanced the, the tough, hard training with the relaxation and the chilling. Um, as in the past, I've, I've, I've tried to do too much between training sessions and kind of broken down, got a bit stressed out from time to time. But I've really tried to focus on you know, training super hard and then switching off from training and just enjoying my life. And uh, if, if it, I think I've got a nice balance and you think you'll see the results of that balance Saturday night. So many fighters say they prepare for 12 hard rounds. Is that what <laughs> you've done or do you honestly believe this is a short blowout? I've trained for 12 hard rounds against a guy who's got longer arms and Tony, who's bigger, physically heavier, stronger, and faster. That's what I've trained for for 12 rounds with that guy. Um, I don't believe what he's. I'm hoping that's what he brings. I'm hoping he is that guy that I've trained for. Because if he is, then we're going for in for an absolute treat. But if it's to say, if it's anything resembling anything like his old self in any of his fights, then it's it's going to be real, real brutal, real fast. But I'm praying. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that he's somehow adopted a new style and learned some new skills and new things and his reflexes are faster, his defense is better, his leg works quick, he cuts the angles better than he used to do. I've trained for him to do, I'm not, as I said, I haven't trained for him, I've trained for someone a lot better than him and um, I'm hoping that new guy turns up because if it does, I'd love to have a nice long 10, 12 round fight, that'd be amazing because I haven't had one of those for many, many years. So fingers crossed, Tony's coming with his A game. Tony Davids constantly says he'll knock you out. Will you knock out David Hay? I'll be totally honest, Adam. I haven't got a clue what's going to happen with him. Uh, I just hope once the going gets tough that he sticks in there with it. So that, that's what I'm hoping for. I would hate for this fight to be to be somebody to it gets rough and tough and then somebody just goes, I've had enough. That would be that would be bad for the fans. That would be bad for him. Because uh, I haven't got that in me, so that's not going to happen from my part. I mean, David has constantly gone about gone on about how this fight's going to end quick and stuff like that. But then once again, the walking contradiction says he's prepared for twelve rounds. So it's it's unbelievable. Like I say, he just says one thing and then says another, and I think he forgets half of the things he says. But listen, I've prepared for a very very hard fight. I've prepared for the fastest, most powerful version of David Hay. I've got to stick to a game plan and I've got to be clever in there because you cannot go in there and give it the opportunities to David Hay within them first few rounds. It just can't be given to him because he will take it and the fight will be over instantly. So you have to have a game plan. Uh, you have to have a backup plan and you've got to be able to carry them out. And I have shown on various occasions that I can follow a game plan and that I can stick to it. So like I said, this isn't my first time on this kind of stage. And it will not be the last, regardless of what people say. I will go out there, I will execute the game plan, and I just hope he's willing to go as far as I am. That's all as I will say. I hope and pray he's willing to go as far as I am. All as I want to do is win. By any means necessary, just win. And then hopefully we go home safe afterwards. That's what it wants. This is a sport and a business. And although he says it's personal now and stuff like that to me, it's not. It's not personal at all. I've just got to win and claim my glory, and I'm going to do that on Saturday night. Well, will there be respect between the pair of you after it's finished? First of you, David. I don't want to think that far ahead, to be honest. I... <clears throat> You'd have to do something really impressive in the ring for me to respect him. If he... It depends how he fights. If he comes out and gives me and does something quite impressive and you know, gets past a couple of rounds maybe and hits me with a few shots, then I'd have nothing, of course, I'd have nothing but respect for him, but 
if it goes how I think it's going to go, then what respect? I don't know. I, I, respect is earned. You don't just give respect to people. It has to be earned. You know, although he's had a, a long, illustrious career up until this point, it, none of it's been at heavyweight. And uh, for him to gain my respect as a heavyweight in the heavyweight division, he's going to need to show he's going to have to stand in front of me and, and give me a reason to respect him. Tony? I, I fully agree with him for once on something there. No, I am not a heavyweight, but I completely disagree with him on the point is I have to stand right in front of him and do what a heavyweight would do. That That is not wise. This is not a game of... I hit you and you hit me, let's see who hits the hardest. This is a game of hit and not get hit. And that's what boxing is about. And that's what I will be trying to do. Believe it or not, I don't enjoy being punched in the face. And I have no intentions of getting whacked really hard in the face. So I'm going in there and I'm trying to get the job done with minimal damage to myself. You know, that's the dream. I mean, the reality is that ain't going to happen. The reality is I'm probably going to get a broken nose or be really sore and stuff like that. But I'm prepared for all that. These are the things that I take into consideration. I understand what he's good at. I've always respected him as a fighter. I think he's an outstanding fighter. I think he always has been. It's just about how long is he outstanding for. And that's the big, big question. Even in the prime of his career, he can't be outstanding for a full duration of a fight. So I'm somebody who's going to get stronger as the fight goes on. I think that's pretty much a given. And uh, as regards to shaking hands and stuff like that, Adam, I think it's been very disrespectful the way he spoke, all the people are where I'm from, uh, the things he said he's going to do to me. I, I just think it's wrong. And, and if he was to apologise maybe for something like that, then maybe, yes, there would be some kind of... Uh, gentleman handshake or something like that but I believe he's far too arrogant a man to ever even consider apologising you know you've got to remember this is the guy who's thrown a punch at me at a press conference so you know with no gloves on highly highly dangerous thing to do and a very stupid thing to do something I've never done at a press conference <laughs> ever before so it is what it is finally prediction time David first um, I'm hoping, really am hoping, because I've, I've put a lot of hard work in, I've trained hard for uh, many years, I've uh, worked with Shane for over a year and a half, has it been a year and a half? About a year and a half now, uh, I had a fight last uh, January, uh, January 2016, May, we were training for a fight, or so September, December, so we've had consistent training for the whole, for the whole of the uh, 2016 and really really progressed really improved fight by fight and uh, it would be nice to have an opportunity to showcase a lot of the stuff that we've, we've been working on in this fight um, so what I hope happens is uh, Tony saying he's going to hit and not get hit great that sounds great if he's, he, he can chuck a few puzzles at me make, make me work for it make me you know, overreach, maybe, I don't know, if he's going to try, hopefully he's going to try and, hopefully I'll have to think in this fight. But what my gut instinct says is I go over there and just let off a vicious barrage of punches. The first one stuns him, the next three or four finish him off. And uh, that's, I can't see it any other way. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping... At the end of the first round, it's like, yeah, we're in a fight here. Second round, if we're still here, great. It's, it's, it's all this hard work, all these graft, all these lungy sessions I've done are for a reason. Because uh, it, it can be a bit anticlimactic knocking someone out early when you've put, the, put a lot of the hard work in for, for, for a whole year. I'd love to be able to showcase what I've, uh, what I've done. So, But if you ask me for a genuine, realistic prediction... Unless he's had some sort of brain transplant and a physic body and a chin transplant and a body transplant, he's getting knocked out really quick, really, really, really quick. As soon as, as, soon as the first shot glances the side of his head, he, he'll realise it's a whole different sport he's involved in here. So that's my my prediction is a spectacular, spectacular, violent knockout, show real knockout, show real knockout is what it's all about. Not just 
you know, stopping him on his feet or his corner front of towel. You know, getting stopped by Stevenson wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't give me any satisfaction. You know, he needs to be out properly. Tony? Just a win, Adam, for the, I, you know, you've got to remember, he, this is the first time in, in five, six years this guy's going in against someone who punches back. So, you know, I'm hoping for a really good, hard fight, and I think we'll get one for four or five, at a push, maybe six rounds. And then I think we will start to see a shift and a change in pattern. And let's just hope, like I say, once again, I know I'm harping on, but for no excuses and no injuries, or I can't come out for this, or I can't do that. That's just, best way to say it is, may the best man win. I hope you stay healthy from start to finish. Simple as that. May the best man win, we will see. Understand, this time, I am not a punch bag. I am not the maggot and I am not the clown who learned to box through YouTube. A world champion. Let's just remember that. May the best man win. The stage is set. Uh, make sure you watch the countdown shows over the next couple of days. Loads more on Sky Sports News on skysports.com. The last bit of hype before these two get in the ring on Saturday night. We cannot wait. Thanks very much.